G'day gamers, Ranger Tony here with another episode of Rise to Ruins. Uh, where are we? Well, we've left off. We're still in North Oak. We're doing very well. We're starting to get our north-south wall and our east-west wall built for protection. The monsters have increased a little bit. They're up to 22, but it is just coming on to night time. So we expect that increase in monsters at night time. But we're going to slaughter a few of them as they come running down here into our... Um, into our little trapped region, I guess. So let's head on in. Um, we just killed a skeleton here, so I'll just reclaim his body. Uh, and we were upgrading the... We just finished upgrading the village centre. It's now a large village centre, and they're upgrading the barracks as we speak. We're probably going to just drop about half of our builders out and put them into guards just so that we can be sure we're okay I don't expect any uh, opponents to come from down this way um, but in case they do we've got these outposts out here that can help us as well and this little guy is panicking from the storm hopefully I don't see any bad guys down here so that's okay Ooh, another dead body there. Looks like a zombie of some sort. Here comes a skeleton. Well done. Okay, I've got a feeling that I have been forgetting something, and that is, do we need to... No, we're doing all right for fletching at the moment. What about for our rock tumbling? We don't have anyone making rocks, but we do have a backlog, so we're fine with that. Okay. Um, I think... Yes, I think now is actually a really good time to start building some of the defensive walls. Uh, no, actually, it's not. Let's finish any of the building that we're doing in here. And I said we were going to upgrade a few of the buildings in here, and we definitely are. Um, and it makes sense to do those now. Uh, look, we've got this skeleton coming around this way. Is he going to be in range of this tower? I bet you he isn't. Yeah. Oh, yes, he's just going to get in the corner range. Are you going to shoot at him? Why are you not shooting at him? That's all right. He's right near the um, the barracks. Someone will come and get him in a minute. So we've finished upgrading the barracks. That's good. Let's have a look at what we can upgrade. I said we needed to upgrade housing, so I think that's definitely a high priority at the moment. So let's do these two next. That water purifier has already been upgraded. It's upgrading some of these storages is probably a good, oh, that one's not. Small equipment's hardly being used. Small miscellaneous storage is full, so that, would, that one is is worthwhile upgrading so let's do that small mineral storage it's half full or three quarters full I might leave that for the moment um, let's come over this way makeshift burner and makeshift essence collector I don't feel that I really need to do th this junk stuff just yet so let's have a look. The stone cuttery, uh, no, we want the mining facility upgraded first and then come down here and upgrade the log shack as well, the lumber shack as well, sorry. So there we go. Oi, Angela, that's a bad guy right there. Attack him. Very good. You finally saw him. 
some more dead bodies here to clean up. Let me just do that. Uh, what else? There. Oh, someone dropped a sword when they died. It's nice. One of our guys will pick that up in a minute. Quite a few of the monsters are are coming around and getting killed. I think if we logged out again in the morning and saw what the map showed, we'd, we'd see that we have very few left alive. It said there were something like 22 monsters, and I think we'll have, we'll have killed at least half of them, if not more. Martin... Labius died of natural causes. He lived a good life. Oh, that's no fair. That means we're a little bit short on people, does it? No, we'll be all right. Just plugging away at these upgrades at the moment. That's fine. Carrying stuff down to the other ancillary storage down the bottom there. So many monsters that we've killed. Actually, you know what? I'm going to pick that up and I'm going to drop that in. I don't think we actually have like a weapon storage. Can I drop it in the small equipment storage? Yep. Yep, very good. I should have dropped it in the barracks actually. That would have made more sense. Anyway, too late now. And he is... Oh, no, I thought he was going to try and bypass everything, but that's not... That's not a problem. How are we going? Almost upgraded the lumber shack. Almost finished the mining facility. And another suspicious key. Do we actually even have any more? Uh, who cares? Like I said in the last game, all they in the last episode, all they do is produce junk at the moment. That we don't really have enough area, enough space to store stuff in. So, Just cleaning up dead bodies. Eventually, I'm going to have a row of essence collectors behind here, and then um, goblin. Not goblin. Why am I saying goblin? Golem um, creators, whatever they're called, uh, next to them. So that as we kill things, hopefully we get the essence from them. And then that will power golems that can go out and, and attack if we need them to. But the thing is, it's not going to be easy for any... Well, actually it is, because we'll have gates. You wait and see. It's going to be good. 
It might be an episode or two, you have to wait, but it will be good. Uh, this night can't last too much longer. So we've got a good chunk of um, of housing available again because we finished with that one. And we are into summer now. Which means it is going to be very hot. So I need to keep an eye on the amount of water that is available. I think what that means is... Where are my water purifiers right there I am going to add an extra person in and in fact I am going to upgrade the water purifier and maybe put even more people into that so let's drop the number of builders back we can go back in here and we can drop the guards back to just two and that gives us some room to increase the builders and hopefully we'll get a couple more um, nomads today to flesh out our colony we do have a lot of buildings here that need to be repaired and I'm not going to say it again because it's no fun when I spend an entire episode not building because I'm waiting for buildings to be repaired so I may not do that this time because there are things that I still need to get upgraded so I'm concerned that I need to increase my food production a little bit. So I think I might need to upgrade the farm once more as well. So I've got a lot of upgrades going at the moment, but let's upgrade the farm as well. And while we are here, let's see if we can get some more veg growing. How did that do? That didn't do too bad this time, for once. A little bit sparse down here, but... Okay. bugging me. I've just I've gotta have that that done because it's going to bug me otherwise. Okay. There's still a lot of buildings that can be upgraded. So that still makeshift, that still makeshift, that still makeshift. Uh, these need to go from one level up because they're just standard and they need to be large, which is what these ones are, as do these two. They need to go to large, high quality. Um, makeshift stone cuttery, makeshift rock tumbler. These all need to be upgraded. The ancillaries have this... Oh, all of my ancillaries. I thought I had already upgraded them, but maybe I didn't. Maybe they start as small and then you could take them from there. Um, but I need to upgrade those ancillaries as well. But I also really... Where is he trying to go? He is... They're still trying to find a way through back this way. Which is fine. It doesn't bother me at all because that just gives me a chance to kill them before... And, and, and kill off some of their main workers. But it also just points out that I was right to want to build this north-south wall because they are they are looking to do that to um, to get through so we need how much more build space have we got lights large five it's one two three four one two three four five six seven eight nine ten I don't have the influence there so let's come over here uh, well, let's count it anyway one two three four five six seven eight Ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
Right. Um, beautiful. Let's put in another bow tower. Three, six, nine. Hmm, that's the only space I can put it. It's not quite where I wanted it, but that's close enough that we'll start to push our uh, perimeter that way. May Whitman starve to death. H how? So this is where it starts to get interesting because how do I tell... Do I have to go through my entire list to see if there's someone in a weird position? We have a lot of food. It's not like we are hard up for food at the moment. I suspect they got themselves in a weird position and sort of got stuck somewhere. Maybe even got stuck talking to someone. Couldn't eat. And as a result, died. Like this. Is this person somehow stuck here? They're idle. Yeah, they are. They're stuck. Right, so what I need to do here is I need to destroy the, the terrain in this area. And I need to include that in it. And probably safe to do all of that and that. These two people got stuck. They were probably building that wall. And it's actually got them walled in with these dead trees around them. To the point where... They're stuck and they can't get out, and so they have starved to death. It's 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 an annoying little mechanic. This one's going to die as well. They're both going to die, but it will allow me to resurrect them in the evening. Uh, I've got the resurrection spell there. Um, it's just it's an it's an it's an annoyance. It's a real nuisance when this happens. I should have paid more attention. I did notice them standing there. I thought they were talking to each other, and so I didn't worry about it too much. But it looks now like they got stuck from building that little bit of wall. There you go. She's free. She'll go and eat. We've survived. Yeah, another doggo in the village. Yay. Ooh. Another loot box. Get back inside the village. There we go. Someone will bring a key to that in a minute and I'll hear a little diddling and I'll go, oh, what was that? And then a couple of minutes later, I'll see a big pile of junk there and go, oh, that's what it was. Um, let's try and regrow all of these veggies. didn't do enough. I wanted it to do more. It's doing more trees than it is veggies, and it's a pain in the butt when it does that. I don't want it to do that. I want it to do carrots. It's a big field of carrots here, and you're not regrowing them fast enough for me. Okay, but that's good. We're, do we're doing all right. Don't, don't complain, Tony. Um, okay, we're looking good. We are going to have to... It's probably going to be best to destroy this section of terrain here as well because it's just going to cause problems our guys are going to get stuck in it we've got plenty of logs we don't have to go nuts trying to 
my, um, harvest all of that and worry. Let's just clear it all out. Oh, look, section of our wall got a little bit damaged. That was probably from a lightning storm or something. Uh, but the um, the bad guys will hone in on that and they will notice that that's broken. Particularly if we were to put a complete wall across here uh, so they couldn't get through. And if we had everything walled across this way as well so they couldn't get around the back um, and we completed our north-south wall, they would look for weak points like that to try and get through. But we're not going to worry about that because we're going to give them a hole to come through. And we're going to let them... Let them do that themselves. And we're going to trap them and destroy them. And another loot box. Okay. Hurry up and finish the farm, please, and then go and repair these buildings. Actually, I don't care too much about the repairs, as I said before. I want you to build this bow tower, though. I'm going to put that up to the top. Good. We've cleared some of that area there so we can put more um, light pits in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And did we get it right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, we didn't. That doesn't matter though. It's close enough. So that is going to be the dimensions of our wall. Um, we need to put one more tower in sort of here-ish, just to push that last little bit away there so that we can get to the wall. And what we probably need to do is destroy... Okay, I'm going to go destroy terrain on all of that, all of that and all of that because for all the stuff that I'm building oops ah, doesn't matter I'm not going to use any of that for resources for all the stuff that I'm building I need this area cleared out because if I don't my builders get stuck there again so we can do that wonderful wonderful uh, I feel like we need another farmer or two so let's do that good more nomads that's what I like to see are they coming from the south or are they coming from the north they're coming from the west maybe oh no no that's a bad guy that's not a nomad where are they coming from? Here they are. It's only two of them. Looks like two more ladies. I really want more than just two guys. You know? Um, how many kids have we got? Four children still waiting to grow up. So hopefully we'll get a couple of them soon. But uh, things are getting a little... A little strained. And we've got so much housing available for you. So much. Right. Gonna make you builders. Thank you. Yep, good. So, we are going to need more towers. Um, I need bullet towers, I think, more than anything. So let's put... Oops. Too close. Uh, no, that's right. That's 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 right. Don't worry, Tony. You're doing okay. Um, 
I really should have made these ones here bullet towers. But um, look, quite frankly, because they come from this direction, when I've tested this before, I don't need as many towers on this side as I do on this side. Because what's going to happen is I have a wall all the way across here except for the gap here. Then I build a, a wooden wall there that's like three up. And then it goes all the way across here. And then from the wall here, I leave a little section so that they can walk through that and come down. So I leave it, it, the wall might end there and I build another wooden wall up there and it goes all the way across here, leaving a little path in the middle. And it comes down this side because there's the wall there. So it comes down, it comes down there and it comes along there and they can come in that entrance there. And I can put a little thing, if I want, I can go up there and come back. And so they sort of, so they sort of walk in here, they go down there, they go down along this wall. Then they're forced to go up and along this section and then they come down and then they follow along the wall down here. Now, because they have to come down here and then go zig, zag, most of these turrets get them before they even get to here. And then they come along here and they get done by some of these turrets. You know, the furthest, I don't think I've seen anything yet, even a skeleton get all the way through to here. So, but I didn't ever have to put a lot of turrets up here. And again, something popped up and it said something and I didn't really even notice it. So I hope it wasn't anything bad. Um, I really wish it was down in here as well. How does the game look down this way? We're looking good. I don't see any real issues. Um, but I ha oh, yep, all this stuff's gone to rot because we didn't use it, whatever it was. Um, but I also think I need to do the destroy terrain here and just get rid of all of that where the wall is going to be so that it doesn't block anything. And we might be okay with that one. But quite frankly, there's a good chance that someone's going to get caught in here. So what we'll probably end up doing is putting a gate like here or here. Even if it's just temporarily so that when I build this gate, they might be on the wrong side of it when they build the last of the wall. And they might get stuck somewhere. Um... Okay, I think, how are we doing for stone? 207, brilliant, that's what I wanted. I wanted a lot of stone. So let's go back to our walls, stone wall. Put in that section, that section, that section, that section. I'm not going to do the rest because quite frankly they're going to come through this gap here because it's the bigger gap anyway and if they don't I've got towers here as they walk along this section of wall to come down through here there's enough towers to take out anything there as well so that is probably a good place to end this episode let's do our normal save and exit and come out and see what we're up to Once again, we've got to come down and come to North Oak. We're up to 1176 God Experience. There is a total of 12 monsters left on the map, and we have 42 villages. And we've survived something like eight days. So thank you for joining me for this episode of Rise to Ruin. If you liked it, please give me a like and share it with your friends. Leave any comments down below, and make sure you subscribe to keep up with all the latest episodes. Thanks a lot. Bye.